of an equation, system of equation. What do you mean by consistency is, you know that every linear equation represents a straight line. 3x plus 2y plus is equal to 5. x minus y equal to 0. 3x plus 2y, 3x minus 2y equal to 1. Do you agree with this? All of them represents a straight line. There's one line like this. There's another yes, line yes. like this. There's a third line like this. Now the third line may or may not pass through this point. If the third line also passes through this point, that means the three equations have a common solution. Understood? Yes. Sir. Three equations have a common solution. If the equations have a common solution, then we say that the equations are consistent. So if you want to check that the three equations are consistent, you need to only just calculate their determinant. If the determinant value is zero, if the value of this determinant is zero, then the two equations, the three equations are consistent. You know that? If the value of the determinant is zero, this is the first application of determinant. One application is we learned Kramer's rule. Another application is to check whether the three equations have a common solution. The three equations have a common solution if the determinant of the equation equal to zero. So please write down, write down in your book, the linear equations, the linear equations. A1x plus B1y equal to C1. A2x plus B2y equal to C2. A3x plus B3y equal to C3 are consistent if determinant A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2. A3, B3, C3, determinant's value is zero. If the value of the determinant is zero, then the three equations are consistent. Is it clear to everybody? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if you write this equation this manner, the determinant doesn't change. Look at this. A1x plus B1y plus C1. That means constant is written on the left-hand side. If you write still, you can use the same formula, no change in the formula. You don't have to make change the sign. Whether you write this way, but all side either should be zero or all side there should be a constant. So if you write this way, or if you write this way, still you can apply the formula in the same manner. Either write all the equation equal to zero format or write all the equation this constant on the right. Then apply the determinant. If the determinant is zero, the equations are consistent. Okay. Or you can also say another way of speaking consistency is the lines intersect at one point. So in terms of straight line, if they speak, what is a condition that three lines intersect at one point? Their determinant, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3, this determinant should be zero then we say the lines are intersecting at one point. Do you know one terminology for lines intersecting at one point? What's the another way of speaking? Lines are... Concurrent. Con ah, yes, concurrent. Not congruent. Congruent means equal length. Concurrent means meeting at one point. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Have you noted all this, what I've written on the board? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now we'll do problems based on this. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Right, the first question. Examine the consistency of the following equation.
टू एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो इलेवन एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो वॉट शुड आई डू सो वट यू से क्वेश्चन आर कंसिस्टेंट If tell me what should I write? If the determinant is zero, determinant. Uh, what is the determinant here? Two three two minus one. Minus one. Is three. it necessary for me three to take it to the other side? No. 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 Because all sides are zero, so you can yes. keep it like that only. Two. Three one minus two eleven two and minus three. So only condition is the format of the equation should be same for all three cases. You should not one on the left and one on the right. Now expand the determinant. So then, if this condition is satisfied, so you will calculate the determinant. Delta delta is the notation for the value of determinant. Delta is equal to one into minus three. Can I directly calculate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minus. Start from two. Delete the row and column containing it. Now calculate the value of this determinant. It's minus three plus four. Then second number should be taken with a plus minus sign. Minus sign. Minus sign. Minus sign. Then delete the row and column containing it. Minus nine. Minus plus nine plus twenty two. Plus twenty two. Plus three into three into delete the row and containing three six minus eleven. Minus eleven. So two into one plus one into thirteen plus six into minus five. So fifteen. So three into minus five, no? Three into minus five. Three into minus five. So fifteen minus fifteen, which gives you zero, which implies the lines, are, the equations are consistent. I hope all of you understood. Yes, sir. Any doubt? Yes, Narmaya has already given consistent. Okay. Now let me go to. Are you all ready? Or finished writing? Or still writing? Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Uh, Austin, done. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we'll go for another question. Find the value of k. If the following equations are consistent, two x plus three y minus two equal to zero. Two x plus four y Is equal to k. Then x minus two y plus three k equal to zero. So here all uh, is the all the equation the same format? No, the second equation is in the. Uh, I mean, the constant term is on right hand side. Yeah, equations are not in same format. Because they are not in same format, what should I do first? So you should convert it into same format. You should bring yes. that to all the other side. Correct. Now, given are consistent. Therefore, what I can say because they are consistent. The determinant. The determinant should be zero. The value of determinant should be zero. Minus k. One minus two three k. Is it okay? All right. Done. Now expand it. Two into. Two into. 
ट्वेल्व के माइनस टू के माइनस थ्री इंटू सिक्स के प्लस के माइनस टू इंटू माइनस फोर माइनस फोर माइनस फोर सो टू इंटू टेन के माइनस थ्री इंटू सेवन के माइनस टू माइनस एट प्लस सिक्सटीन सो ट्वेल्व के माइनस ट्वेंटी वन के इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन सो टेन के इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन सो के इज माइनस सिक्सटीन बाय टेन विच इज माइनस एट बाय फाइव So the value of k is minus eight by five. That will be twenty k minus twenty one k. Yes, sir. Twenty k minus twenty one k. Oh, okay. Twenty k. Wait, what did I do? So twenty k minus twenty one k is equal to minus sixteen. So k is sixteen, right? Yes, sir. Okay. One more problem. Is it clear to everybody? Yes. Yeah. So you solve the equation by Cramer's rule. Now we have the third equation. right now if this is a common solution the solution of this two should satisfy this equation then only we can say they are consistent right yes sir if this value of x and this value of x it will naturally satisfy this both but if this satisfies the third equation then i can say the three equations are consistent so i can say a3 into x what is x c1 d1 c2 d2 divided by a1 B one, A two, B two, plus B three into uh, what is Y? A one, A two, C one, C two, divided by A one, B one, A two, B two, should be equal to the third equal to C three. If I cross multiply this, what do you get? A three. I hope you understood so much what I have written. Yeah. Plus B three into A one C one A two C two is equal to C three into A one B one A two B two. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Now I am bringing this to left hand side. A three C one B one C two B two. Minus C three, A one B one, A two B two, plus B three, A one, A one C one, A two C two. Obviously, I wrote the in middle. This when I brought this to left hand side, it became negative. I wrote in middle. First row is A three, C three, D three. All right. Then, if I want this determinant to be C one year, B one year. C two year, B two year, and naturally this will be A one year and A two year. Just check whether, if I expand this determinant, am I getting the same statement? Yes or no? A three into value of this determinant that is over here, minus C three into value of this determinant, then plus B three into value of this determinant. Am I right or wrong? Have you followed or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody understood. So, what did I do? If three equations are consistent, the solution of these two equations should satisfy the third equation. Solution of this equation is this and this. This should satisfy the third equation, so it should satisfy this equation. So, what you get ultimately is a determinant, and we know that rows and columns can be interchanged. Uh, the value of the determinant does not change, so we wrote. And interchanging the columns, all that minus sign, all those the property. If you apply, 
you can write it in any order. You can write it A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. How you did this? First, I interchange this both. Then I interchange this both. So you get the order. Or I interchange directly this over here. Cyclically, I interchange. The value of determinant does not change. Then I change rows to columns. Then I'll get this value. So that doesn't matter. In any order, it does not matter. Because by property of determinant, you can interchange the rows, all those properties. Have you followed? No. Okay. So uh, how you got this re result? Have you understood? The vertex coordinates are given to you. What is area of this triangle? How will I calculate area of this triangle? Very simple method. Area of the triangle ABC is half times determinant. Take the first coordinate, x1, y1. Put one as the third one. x2, y2, one. x3, y3, one. This will give you area of the triangle. If it is, suppose the determinant happen to be negative, take the modulus. Now don't get confused between modulus and determinant, so I'm not writing there. But suppose the area is, if value of determinant is negative, is negative, then take the modulus. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Modulus means what? You should take only positive value. Has everybody understood? Yes, sir. Yes, How sir. do you get this formula? That also I'll just give you a rough idea. I don't want to spend my too much time on it. You will first calculate area of this trapezium. Wait, wait, I'll write properly. First, you'll calculate area of this trapezium. Okay. This trapezium. You understood which trapezium? MN. A, M, N, B. And to calculate area of a trapezium, half into height, different distance between parallel lines, into L1 plus L2. Do you remember this formula? Yes, sir. So height will be MN. Parallel lines are AM and BN. Very easy to calculate MN. If this point is X1, Y1, AM is Y1, and OM is X1. And MN is X2. Subject in a subject. Because the coordinate here is X2, so yes. this length should be X2. So half into the distance between parallel lines MN will be X2 minus X1. And length of the parallel lines is Y1 and Y2. This is how you get the first area of this trapezium. Again, I can find area of this trapezium. Which trapezium I'm talking about? B, N, P, C. What will be the area of that? Half into, this distance will be X3 minus X2. And the parallel side's length will be Y2, y2 plus Y3. y3. So I got the area of this whole trapezium and this trapezium, which are the area I've got just try to understand. This area. This area. Is it okay? Plus this area. All of you understood? Now what I'm okay. going to do is, I'm going to remove this area. That means area of this trapezium. And then I will get the area of this triangle. Subject in a? Now, area of this trapezium, I'm going to remove it. So, minus half into. Distance between parallel lines will be this length. It is x1 and x3's difference. And the sum of the parallel side is y1 and y3. And when you expand this, half becomes common, and you will get the expansion of this determinant. As you can say. I don't want to spend time on that, but just you have to get the idea of it. Followed? Mm. So tell me how to calculate area of a triangle. Half into, even you can write it this way also, eh? half into, put one, one, one. Then what do you write? All the X coordinate. Then write all the Y coordinate. This you also will do. You write this way or you write this way, it does not matter. Those and problems can be interchanged. All right, anyhow you can write. 
usually we write this way. Even this is fine with you because one one. If you take it first row, the expansion would become easy. All of you have followed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we go for the problem. So one minute. minute. So, yeah. You, want, you wanted to write something. Yes, sir. Last. Okay. You don't write the proof and all. That's not required. One minute. I'll have to go back now. This is not required. Okay. Uh, okay. What you write is only the formula. Just, just I okay, give an sir. idea. Okay, done. Yeah. Now what we'll do is we'll have, do the application. So whenever now area of triangle comes in connect geometry, always apply this method. Very fast you get the answer. So first write, find the area of the triangle whose vertex are five, eight, Five zero and one zero. Find area of triangle ABC. So area of triangle ABC is equal to half into what is a x squared one 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 one. Then all the x coordinates. Five, five, one. Then write all the y coordinates. Eight, zero, zero. Half into. Now expand it. Five, zero minus zero. Minus one into. Zero minus eight. Plus one into. Zero minus forty. That is half into eight minus forty. That is half into minus thirty-two. That is minus sixteen. You don't write area. Or put a delta here. Then write area of triangle. Is modulus of delta. That is modulus of minus sixteen. That is sixteen square unit. Why did I put delta here? Because area cannot be negative. So whatever the answer that you get out of the formula, take a modulus of that and write the answer. Everybody fine with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next question. Ready? Can I change the page? One yes, minute. sir. A is coordinate minus three comma one. B is coordinate minus two comma minus two. C is coordinate one comma four. D is coordinate three comma minus four. Now area of the quadrilateral. Is I can take area of two triangles. Area of triangle A B D plus Area of triangle B D C. Agreed? Everybody agree with this? Yes, sir. So that is equal to half into what I'm going to do? One, one, one. Now take all the x coordinate. What are the x coordinate? A is minus three, minus two, and three. Y coordinate, one, minus two, minus one, plus half into one, one, one. All the X coordinate, what are the X coordinate you have? One, then minus two, then three. Next one, four, minus two, same order you must take it. Eh? Minus one. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Did you notice that while I wrote the answer, you must have noticed that these two columns are same? 
Yes. If these two columns are same, I can add these two columns. One plus one property you remember no? Hmm. Minus three plus one. One plus four. Do you remember or don't remember? सब लोग चुपचाप रहते हैं आनंद क्या हो गया आज तुम भी बात नहीं कर रहे आनंद क्लास ओके एवरीबडी अंडरस्टूड द एडिशन पार्ट टू वन वन माइनस टू माइनस टू माइनस टू माइनस थ्री फाइव माइनस टू माइनस सो आंसर बी 2 into 2 plus 6 minus 1 into 2 minus 15 plus 1 into 4 plus 10 that is 1 by 2 into 2 into 8 minus 1 into minus 13 plus 14 that is half into 16 plus 13 plus 14 30 so how much it became Forty-three by two. Forty-three by two. Yes, sir. That is twenty-one point five square unit. We are getting twenty-one. We did by calculating each one separately. Minus two. Did I make any mistake? Just check. Their answer is twenty-one. They don't have point five. That means there's a mistake. Difference of one, one, one point. Eight into two sixteen. Plus thirteen. Plus fourteen. Okay. Two into two minus six. Two plus six. One into two minus fifteen. One into four plus ten. So it's correct. What right. else to do? Okay. All right. Fine. Done. Yes, you, sir. You don't want to yes, add. Sir. You need not add them. You can calculate the value of this determinant and this determinant, and then add them up. That is also fine. Huh? Hmm. Is it clear? Yes, But, sir. See, you must take them the same order. What did I do? You know, I took this as first. Then this, then this. Next time when I took, I took this as first. Then this, then this. So that this part remains same for both the places. I purposely arrange that way. If you are not doing that way, then individually you must calculate area and add. Okay. If zigzag order if you are coming, then individual area you have to take and add. All of you are clear about this? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now my next question is. If the triangle is like this, if the triangle is like this, then the area there'll be some area, right? This B, yeah. this C, this A. Now imagine this A is pushed downward. Then area would be like this. Imagine this is A is over here. as this a comes down 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 area will keep on reducing now what can you say about area of this triangle abc it has no area uh, area is zero mm -hmm. and what happens to the point abc point point abc are collinear yes collinear so we have another application if you want to check three points are collinear You need to just prove that their area is zero. That means one, 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 x one, x two, x three, y one, y two, y three. If this determinant happened to be zero, then the points say points x one, y one, x two, y two, and x three, y three are collinear. Did you follow that? Yes, sir. If the value of this determinant happened to be zero. the points are collinear 
So now you tell me. I want to find equation of this line. I know a point here one comma two. I know a point here three comma minus one. So I want to find the equation of this line. What can you say? What do you mean by equation of the line? It all the points on this line are collinear with AB, right? So whatever yeah. the condition satisfied by the point which is collinear with AB is the equation of the line AB. Whatever the condition satisfied by by the points which are collinear with AB. is the equation of the line ab do you agree with the statement yes sir so what is the condition for this point to be collinear 1 1 1 x coordinate 1 x 3 wherever you feel like you put 2 y minus 1 if this determinant is 0 the points are collinear if you expand this, you will get an equation. And that is the equation of the line. So I can also derive the equation of the line using determinant. Whatever I expand that get, I'll get the equation of the line. So to make it a little more easier and simplified way, I will write the determinant as 1, x, y. 1, 1, 2. Or I'll put x, y here. That will be better. No? I'll put x, y here. This way I'll write. x, y, 1. Then I'll put the coordinate of this. 1, 2, 1. Then I'll put the coordinate of this. So in my expansion, okay, you see now. x into 2 plus 1, 3. Minus y into 1 minus 3. Plus 1 into minus 1 minus x equal to zero. So directly I'll get the equation. 3x plus 2y minus 7 equal to zero. This is the equation of the line. Instead of doing this way, if you write it this way, it will be faster to expand. Subject any? Yes, sir. Okay. Now write down the heading. Uh, points A, X1, Y1. B, sir, one minute please. this page. What happened? are collinear if area of triangle ABC is zero. That is, if determinant x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1, equal to zero. You can write it any order, eh? or you can write it this way also, eh? 1, 1, 1, X1, X2, X3, Y1, Y2, Y3. Anyhow, that doesn't matter. You write this way or this way. So this is a way to check whether three points are collinear. Second point. We can find equation of a line Passing through capital A X1 Y1 and capital B X2 Y2 by using determinant. What is the method? It is the condition satisfied by point which are collinear with AB. Yeah, satisfied by the points which are collinear, collinear with AB. With A and B. So if P X comma Y is any point on the line.
then x y one x uh, we have we want to okay yeah, no problem y one one x two y two one should be equal to zero and that will give you the equation of the line so a lot of application we learned with the determinants so we'll recap all the application once again and do few problems and then we'll wind up so the first question for you is find the value of k if the area of the triangle area of the triangle whose vertices are p k comma 0 q 2 comma 2 r 4 comma 3 is 3 by 2 square unit tell me is it possible for you to do so half into k times 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 Minus zero into ah uh, we don't have two minus four one into six minus six eight. Minus eight. So we don't have to waste our time doing this. So minus k minus k plus zero minus two. Correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm putting the minus outside. A plus two. Area of triangle is. is modulus of delta which means delta's value is plus or minus 3 by 2 that means half into k plus 2 is plus or minus 3 by 2 even if delta is 3 by 2 area would have been 3 by 2 if delta is minus 3 by 2 then also area would have been 3 by 2 so i can say k plus 2 is plus or minus 3 So k is either three minus two or k is minus three minus two. So k is one or k is minus k five minus four. So you have two possible values here. Don't think only one, na? No? Not. So you need to check whether a, b, c are collinear. Fine. If the determinant is zero, then then uh, three points are collinear. So what you'll do, you will calculate the determinant directly. So what? How do you write the determinant? X one first point three minus one one. Second point zero minus three one. Third point twelve five one. The last is always one. So three into minus three minus five. You are already a minus sign is there. So plus one into Zero minus twelve plus one into zero plus thirty six. So three into minus eight minus twelve plus thirty six. So minus thirty six plus thirty six. <coughs> Answer is zero, zero, which implies that points. Uh, three points A, B, C are collinear. Yeah. Collinear. I'll explain again. What I was telling: if the whole right-hand side of the equation happened to be zero, then the value of dx, value of dy, and value of dz would have been zero. Zero. Right? Is it clear to everybody in that part? Yes, sir. Then, if the d also happened to be zero, then the number of solutions are infinite. Infinite. But if d is not equal to zero, then there is only one solution. And what is that solution? 
zero zero zero, and we call it as trivial solution. Trivial solution. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Is it clear? So this point yes. you must remember. This they ask you in MCQ. And all of you followed? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me see. Is there any problem on that? You got to find what is the value of a. You have seen right answer of the equation all zero. Should have a non-zero solution. All of you know that x equal to zero, y equal to zero, and z equal to zero will satisfy all of them. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. So you have a non-zero solution means this should have infinite number of solutions. If this equation has got infinite number of solutions, then only you will have a non-zero solution. Do you agree with this statement? Zero it solution is obvious. Ah, if I talk about the previous one, I said x equal to zero, y equal to zero will satisfy all the always, whether yes. d is zero or d is not zero. Yeah. But when d is zero, you will have many solutions. So other than zero, zero solution also will be present. But if d is not equal to zero, it will have only non-zero solution. solution, which means this equation will have a non-zero solution if d equal to zero. Do you agree with that? Yes or yes, no? Sir. Because hmm. then in that case it will have infinite number of solution. Hmm. Which means a cube, a plus one the whole cube, plus a plus two the whole cube, a, a plus one, a plus two, then one, one, one. This should give you answer what? Zero. zero. Then only it will have a non-zero non solution. Non-zero solution. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Uh, now we'll have to work on this. How to get the value of A on it? How to get the value of A in on it? Can anybody tell me? What are the technique we always supply when you see one, one, one? Converted into zero. Mm -hmm. Ah, convert it into zero. Correct. So how will you convert it to zero? Just subtract this one with this other. Correct? So yes, I can write C2 minus C1 and C3 minus C1. Or do you want to interchange the rows and bring one first? I'll do that first. So one thing. First interchange the rows. One, one you write first. Then you write A cube, A plus one, the whole cube. A plus two, the whole cube. Then you write A, A plus one, A plus two. This is a J's question. Eh? Now you apply C2 minus C1. Can I wrap up the question? Ah. Yes. You had written the question, no? Yes, sir. So C2 minus C1 and C3 minus C1. 1, A cube, A. 0. A plus 1, the whole cube, minus A cube. Here, 1. 0. A plus 2, the whole cube, minus A cube. And 2 will be here. Is it okay? Yeah. That should be equal to zero. Now what you do is expand it. If you want, you can simplify this. A plus one, the whole cube minus A cube. That I'll do that. Which implies this into this minus this into this should be zero. That means A plus one, the whole cube minus A cube. Multiplied with the two. Minus A plus two, the whole cube minus a cube should be equal to zero. Now let's expand this. a cube plus 3a square plus 3a plus 1 minus a cube. 
multiplied with a 2 minus a cube plus 6a square plus 4 into 3, 12a plus 8 minus a cube. So, we are here. Have you understood a plus 2, the whole cube expansion? No, sir. Yes. Can you explain it? What is a plus b, the whole cube expansion? A cube plus 3a square b. 3a square b. square b. 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 square plus b cube. When b become 2, what will happen? This will be 2. Then but 6 this will be 2 square. square. So 4 into 3, 12 will become here. Huh, 3 into 2 will give you 6. And 2 cube will give you 8. So a cube got cancelled. A cube got cancelled. Six a square minus six a square. Obi cancel over. Six a plus two minus twelve a minus eight equal to zero. So minus six a minus six equal to zero. Therefore, a is equal to one minus one. Okay, this test I show you an introduction to a JE question in this chapter. Just one question. It's not in your test book or anything. Just a few questions. I thought I'll just show you some JE question. Based on the Kramer's rule, it was.